Today we will be going from basic to baddie, from basic to baddie. We can agree that this basic look is very basic. I've got a few makeup items that I'm pretty excited to play with. And let me know in the comments below when you're feeling yourself. Do you fluff your hair like I do? Do you like look side to side, look in the mirror, send a kiss? So grab your snack or your makeup. Let's sit down and do some makeup. Before doing any makeup look, you always want to start off with your skincare. Today I'm using Estee Lauder A&R Eye Cream. I love this eye cream. You can definitely check out my blog to see a full review of this. Next, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty 3-in-1 Spray and I'm using it as a mist. It has some fine oils in there. It's very refreshing and light. And I'm just going to pat that into my skin. I'm using the Youth to the People Super food firm brightening serum <laughs> now that's a mouthful um i didn't use this in a little while so it's kind of squirting out of the packaging but i really like this serum because it is plumping it's brightening and it has a lot of antioxidants in there vitamin c that's really great for your skin now i'm using my fresh rose moisturizer this actually is a gel cream moisturizer so it's great for normal dry combination and oily skin and you want to seal all the steps that you've just done with a great moisturizer the only step that i'll be missing out here is my sunscreen and by the time i'm finished my makeup look it's going to be late evening so i don't require sunscreen in this step but if this is daytime definitely use your sunscreen now the Laneige Lip Gloss, Lip Balm. I just sort of use that to moisturize my lips. In the meantime, this is a great option, you guys, if you're interested or looking for a lip balm. Definitely check this one out. I'm using this 3-in-1 spray from Rare Beauty, yet again as a prep spray before I apply my primer. So it's basically a primer before my primer, a pre-primer, if you will. And I'm just patting that in. It's gonna give my skin that extra bouncy, dewy look. If you like a glow from within finish, but at the same time want to blow out any imperfections you have, like in my case, my very textured skin, try out this Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter Face Primer. I use a brush to blend it all in, and I'm going in also with a Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This has I would say a medium to full on the full side coverage and it gives you that natural skin like finish. It pairs really nicely with that primer that I used previously. I like to brush my eyebrows up before I apply my brow product and I'm using this Rare Beauty brow product. Now this is very creamy. It is it's actually a surprise favorite of mine from the Rare Beauty line. It has on one side that triangular shape brow pencil, which gives you a lot of coverage. And as you can see, I have very sparse brows and this gives me full coverage. Never mind that I'm kind of going all over the place with my brows. We're gonna carve that out. Don't worry, we're gonna brush it in and we're gonna carve this out. This coats every single brow hair and I like to use a brush just to kind of share it out a little bit, especially at the beginning of the brow. I just like sharing out that look so you can have that natural gradient look. But to give it a nice clean, you know, just waxed finish, I'm going in with a Rare Beauty concealer and just applying that concealer underneath the brow. And since it's almost the same color as my skin tone, I'm also going to go above the brow with that concealer. Look how clean it looks already. Extend the wear of your eyeshadow and particularly if you have hooded eyes like I do, I always recommend using an eyeshadow primer and this one is from Fenty Beauty. I really like this one because it holds, it's kind of tacky, it's creamy and it's easy to blend out. There's no bunching. I also prefer using primer over concealer because concealer has a tendency to kind of crease up in your crease so when you close your eyes you can see that gathering of product there. So I definitely highly rate an eyeshadow primer over a concealer. 
Dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette with the Morphe M504 brush, it's a fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up the color Ginger and using that as a transition shade and I'm just going to lightly dust that all over my eyelid, kind of focusing on my crease. I'm using the Smashbox liner brush to carve out a bit of a crease using that color credit and if you have hooded eyes like I do, these brushes come in handy to create that precision to just sort of blend out and create a crease for you. I'm using a windshield wiper motion so that we can deepen up the color without adding any more product. To soften up any harsh lines, I'm using the Morphe M504 brush, just blending. We're not using any more product. We're just going back and forth and blending until all harsh lines have disappeared. To deepen up my crease, I'm using a compact It Cosmetics blending brush and dipping into the color credit, just focusing on the outer V area. And we're just going to create an elongated eye look just by focusing that color on the outer edge and dragging in the remnants to the center lid. Using the MAC 195 brush, I'm dipping into the color Sponsorship. And this is a fabulous brush. You should get this brush if you like using shimmery shades and not necessarily using your fingers but it picks up color fabulously. Like you should definitely get this brush if you're in the market for brushes. And I'm gonna also carve out the outer edge, the outer crease of my eye. And I'm going in the opposite direction to kind of fill out any creases and crevices. Going back in with my same It Cosmetics blending brush, I'm blending the two colors together on the outer V of my eyelid. To cover up my dark circles under my eyes, I'm using this super creamy full coverage concealer and this one is from Pat McGrath. It is so full coverage and blends like a dream. You really should get this concealer if you're looking for a concealer. And I'm going to take that color around the sides of my nose as well just to brighten up the area and make my laugh lines kind of disappear. I'm also going to take that concealer to the parts of my face that I want to brighten and highlight basically. I'm using a blending brush to set my under eye area and I'm using this Huda Beauty setting powder in the color Canufa. It's a bright yellow setting powder and notice I'm not picking up a whole lot of that powder. I'm just lightly setting that creamy color. So I like to preset before I go in with baking. What's the difference you ask? Well, baking powder is not actually a powder. It's a technique that you use to bring light to the face and setting powder is the one that you want to use to set your makeup in place. Here I'm using this Pat McGrath under eye setting powder and I'm going to pretty much set all over my face and dust off any excess setting powder. Hey, I sort of fell off from telling you which brushes I'm using. This is a Fenty Beauty brush. It is actually a setting brush. It's a really nice, soft, fluffy setting brush and Yet again, I also recommend you trying this brush if you're in the market for a powder brush. Fenty Beauty Match Sticks, I'm sure you heard a lot about it. I absolutely love this for contouring. And here I'm basically drawing the figure three on my face. And we're going to go ahead and blend all of that out. But this is a basic format to draw, I guess, on your face to carve out and chisel. Please forgive me, I don't know where any of this blending footage went, but I use this Real Technique sculpting brush to blend all my contouring out. It goes for about $9.99 at the drugstore, so this is a great find. Using my Laura Mercier setting powder in the color Translucent, and this is pretty much to brighten up the area. This is a translucent setting powder with a lighter tint, so when you blend it out, it's going to give you that brightening effect the Laura Mercier setting powder in the color medium deep. This is great for reverse contouring if you're my complexion or for setting your under eyes if you're of a deeper complexion. It is a translucent powder but it does have a brownish tint to it. To the under eyes we're going to go back into the color credit in the Jackie Aina palette with that pencil liner and we're going to use the same colors we used on the upper lids on the lower lids to connect the upper lids to the lower lids. To create some definition on my lash line, I'm using the Stilla Smudge Eyeliner. It's in the color Vivid Jade. It's a very deep dark green color. 
and I'm just running that along my waterline, top and bottom. Hands down, one of my favorite highlighters is the color Lilac Geode from Becca Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna show you how I use it to highlight my brow area. And to deepen up the color of my lash line, I'm using this One Size Beauty Felt Tip Eyeliner. You guys, this eyeliner is stellar. It's a deep, dark black color, and it stays on for a really long time without smudging or running. It's to A1. prep my lashes for my fake lashes, I'm using this Extreme Dimension MAC Mascara. And you will always want to use a mascara before you put on actual fake lashes because they help blend your lashes together. It's always awkward when you can see someone's real eyelashes versus the fake lashes. Just, it's awkward. And I'm using the super fluttery Lily lashes in Miami. Today I didn't do a great job in putting on my lashes, but you know what? We're just rolling with it because as I mentioned, we're not going anywhere. We're just chilling at home. And there's a reason people usually don't do their lashes on screen because it just takes a long time sometimes. Sometimes it goes on easily, but lashes are a journey. Usually you would not be able to put on lashes for the first time, just, you know, attempting it. But lashes are a journey and it's just a matter of practice. To add some dimension to my face, I'm going in with this Becca bronzer that I absolutely adore. I got this in PR and it's called Maui Nights. It's a sunlit bronzer. So it has a bit of shimmer to it and I'm going to warm up my face by placing it on my temple, my cheekbone, the bridge of my nose. It's just a beautiful bronzer. Let me know in the comments if you use bronzer and which is your favorite. I mentioned this highlighter before. This is Lilac Geode from Becca Cosmetics. Love it. You ought to try it. If you have a lighter skin tone, it will show off more pinky gold on you. And if you're dark like me, it's going to show up very golden with shimmers of pink in there. To top it all off, I'm using this blush trio from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is in the color called Cocktail Party with all three colors in there. And to seal my brows off, I'm using the other side of the Rare Beauty gel pencil. This gel is so creamy and keeps my eyebrows in place with a little bit of pigment in there. I highly recommend this brow product. To give my lips an extra large plump look, I go in heavy with my lip liner and this is chestnut from mac i also use dangerous curves which is a lip glass color it's a new dark brown color absolutely love this but guys let's take care of this hair situation because mm -mm. okay Woo! instant hairstyle this is solana she is from sensational i'll put the link below in case you are interested in this and i'm just gonna touch up a little bit more with my highlighter from becca cosmetics taking that down my decolletage and then again with my bronzer doing the same thing on my neck and decolletage. Girl, who do you think you are? Did you forget you were like super basic a little while ago? Okay, we are baddies now. Never mind our lashes are looking a little wonky. That's part of the game. It happens sometimes, but we are baddies. Okay, did you sit down and do your makeup with me? Were you eating a snack and watching along? Anyway, if you made it this far, I thank you so much for watching. And you know, you should find me on Instagram. You are going to get a daily dose. I post way more often on there because trust me when I say YouTube is a journey. Like I take forever <laughs> editing a YouTube video. On this channel, I do hair, makeup and skincare tutorials and real reviews if that's the kind of content you enjoy do hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video do hit that like button subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you can see every time i post